Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at another driver spotlight here for today from Team Slide Culture. We are staring at a VDC track and a back end of a very aggressive E36. So we're going to get into this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So today we are taking a look at Tom Speed's Team Slide Culture NRG Innovations Drift Masters Pro Car, another NRG brotherin. So his car is definitely super aggressive. Thrustmaster on the back, NRG Innovations. So Tom Speed is competing in HTC, but as well, this is his Drift Masters Pro Car. Big thank you to him for letting me get behind the wheel of this car. This car is rowdy so definitely a aggressive looking car i can appreciate the course the energy innovation sponsor and everything in those lines and it's got a really aggressive hood dump which is right up in there in your face so we're going to be taking his car for a rip here on vdc track and then we're going to be hitting up irwindale because we always end these episodes off in irwindale so once again a big thank you to tom speed for giving me the chance to get behind the wheel of his drift masters pro car so without further ado let's just go sideways all right so we got the wheel cam and everything turned on we're gonna heat up these tires a little bit this thing is super rowdy as you can hear To get a big thank you to him for letting me get my hands on the wheel of his pro drift masters car definitely enjoying these you know driver spotlights so let's go full send here see if we can't not wreck his car first try a little bit slow out of the game there initiating in just missed the clip quick flick there this car goes quick to angle a little bit breaks there Coming into the big loop, and I'm nowhere near the wall, but for first run out, I will take that as a first run. This car is definitely rowdy. Could probably go into third gear through that last section. So this car is rowdy. I love the way the wheel feels. It definitely has a very heavy feel, which is something I love. I love a heavier wheel feel, so it's definitely something I like and once that turbo lag kicks in it's just full send on the tires we just used 10 percent of tires on one lap again 91 percent on the dashboard so we're gonna go for a full run too see what we can do with it we're gonna try and do a better initiation without so much handbrake i'm gonna gain a little bit faster second third a hard flick entry. There we go. No handbrake there. Just use clutch to switch it around. Oh, nowhere near where I need to be on that one. Just scraping the back wing. At least I haven't wrecked your car yet, Tom. So definitely need to get that outer clip right there and that back section a little bit better. But you know, for the first two laps out in this car, that is uh Definitely, I feel respectable, and you know what? Tom has done a great job with the car. The car looks amazing. I love the livery. I've obviously, being an energy sponsored driver here in a setup and stuff like that, it's definitely a crazy thing. And I know he was super excited when he got, you know, the Team Sly Culture wheel and all that stuff. So, it's definitely a, uh, a great thing. Wow, that's snappy. I do love the heavy wheel feel, so we're gonna try this again. Try to make see if we can actually get out to those clips. I'm off to start a little bit faster. Quick shift in the fourth, clutch kick. No handbrake, just using the body of the car to flick it around. There we go. I mean, a little bit of wing tap going into that circle. Not too terrible. I should be up against the wall. But you know what? For not being my car, I think I will take that as a win on this track. And then we're going to take this to a track that I don't love. And we're definitely going to be driving, dragging that wing. So we're going to switch it up to Irwindale. I'm actually having a blast in this car. We're not going to make it through the cones. Cones don't give. Cones don't give. Oh. 
thought we were gonna die, but you know what? Let's just go back this way and see how far we can go until we run out of track before we switch. He told me to drive this thing like I stole it, and I think that is exactly what I'm doing. Oh. We are driving this car super aggressive, because uh, when somebody tells me to drive that car like I stole it, that's what's exactly gonna happen. Try to reverse entry, now we wrecked this car. So let's switch up to Irwindale, go get some runs on there, and see what else we can do with this car. So like I said, you guys know we finished all these episodes off at Irwindale. I like the big red digital uh, number. That drift message banner, you can't see anything, but none of his switches are on. Oh man, no switches? Nah, everything's on. So, we're going to be driving this thing at Irwindale to see what we can do with it. We're definitely going to try driving, dragging our wing. This car is definitely set up very well. I haven't changed anything from what he sent me. Fourth gear. A little bit lacked of angle. Dragging bumper and wing through the wall. You are not careful, that snap will catch you. Ooh. We need to lead off throttle a little bit through that snap to try and better that uh, transition. But the wall, the first initial wall, that was that was pretty good. So let's do this one more time. Or two more times, depending on how much fun we're gonna have. Let's see if we can't get that initiation good and get our transitions not to be snappy. Quick flick to angle. A little bit less on transition there. There we go. Cannot thank, you know, Tom enough for giving me the keys to this whip because this thing is rowdy. I love the styling of it, I love all the cutouts, I love the rear mounts, the high wing. This car is aggressive and like I said, he's done amazing work with this and I can definitely see why he's a good competitor in competitions. So, with a dialed in car like this, how could you not? So let's try to go for a super aggressive entry. Like we always do. not that aggressive as I wanted it to be, but this thing kind of just holds the line. You put it where you want it to go, and it kind of just sits there. He's off a little bit. A little left of brake to get into the wall. Oh. A little bit of a wall tap. So we would have uh, destroyed a couple back bumpers on this car, but otherwise I think I've done this car a bit of justice. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Winglet through the wall. <laughs> if you guys want to see more driver spotlight, let me know down in the comment section down below. We've got a few more cars and other drivers that have sent me some stuff from other competitions, ESDA and such. So we're gonna get into those as well. So we're gonna do one final run here on Irwindale, and then we're gonna take a look at the replay run of it, just because I want to see what the car looks like sliding in third person camera from a perspective view. Okay, all right, we're in the wall. I cannot see. <laughs> we were in the wall, I could not see. So I think that'll do it. Let's go take a look at the replay and we will see what it looks like. So first initiation on that, the car definitely looks great sliding the flame out the hood. That was a pretty decent high up there run. We could probably could have angled a little bit better there, but going in, but the overall, super impressed with how this car runs. So once again, a big thank you to Tom Speed for hooking me up with the car, letting me get the keys to his Drift Masters E36. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching me. Follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the trip to box below. I'd like to thank you guys for coming back to another Driver Spotlight episode. I'll see you guys on the track.